What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a another look on the Dominique Cosmetics um, Latte Palette. So I already did one and now we're going to be doing this one. So yeah, um, I honestly like I'm blown away by this palette for the second time because I've only used it these two times that I filmed these videos. But seriously, my favorite palette right now. And to my surprise as I was filming, I got a knock at the door and my um, Reezy highlighter came in and yeah, I just have no words. It's just by far the best highlighter for very cheap. I think it was like $24, $28. I just thought it was gonna be a lot more. It was so, so worth it. I really wanna buy like 10 because I don't know if it's limited edition or not, but I, just this is my favorite thing ever that's about it if you guys want to see how i got this look and my reaction on or to the anastasia beverly hills and omrezy highlighter then just go ahead and keep watching before you do please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and that's about it let's get into the video we are going to start priming the eyes with this morphe concealer stick in snickerdoodle this is what i've been using to prime the eyes ever since i tried it Okay, so I'm going to be using Vanilla Cream, which is this, looks like a vanilla cream shade, um, to set my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to be picking up this Morphe E28 brush, and we are going to be going into this color right here, Caramel. And we're just going to be putting that in the crease. And we're going to take it all the way to the inner corner. This is the same brush and the same color. I'm just trying to deepen the um, the crease and the inner and outer lid. Okay, and now we're gonna be going into Pumpkin Spice, which is this like orangey pumpkin spice color. <laughs> and we're taking it on the same Morphe E28. And I'm gonna start focusing right here in the outer corner then bring it into the crease into the inner corner okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the Morphe M433 and I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up with this shade right here mocha I'm just gonna start in the outer corner and kind of like the other color just bring it into the crease but start at the outer corner I just keep picking up more product to create depth. I'm just trying to pack it in to the inner corner as well and in the crease. Now I'm gonna go back in with the E28 and not picking up any extra product, I'm just going to be blending these. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up this NYX glitter primer and I'm just gonna be putting this on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna be picking up this. This is the Bare Essentials brush. So I'm just picking this up. Got it packed with the glitter primer. And now we are going to just put this on the middle of our lid. Start from the top where you want the glitter to be. Kind of like stagger the primer and then so it's not like it doesn't have any straight lines or anything. So now for the lid, we are going to be putting espresso, which is this kind of like deep, it's like an emerald. We're going to be putting that on the lid. Oh my, wow. Oh. Guys, <laughs> I did not anticipate that at all. Okay, now that the color's on the lid, I definitely do need to deepen the crease a lot. 
So I'm just gonna keep picking up Mocha on the Morphe M433. Also gonna bring it a little bit on top of the lid shade, which is espresso. So it looks like it has like a gradient effect versus just glitter and then just mocha. Okay, I'm gonna be going in with the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the color 310 Sun Beige. I just did a review on this foundation, so I will put a card here or there, wherever it is. I think it's right here. And so you guys can check it out. Then I'm gonna be going in with this Maybelline sponge that I also did the review on with that um, foundation. Okay, now I'm gonna be taking this True Match concealer in the color Fair Light. I am going to be doing that so that I can um, sharpen up that eyeshadow. And I'm going to be taking it on this little curved side of the blender. Now I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead and on the bridge of my nose. Anything in the cup that you're holding, one little taste will have you open. Yeah, I know you want some, you want some. Too strong. No limits. It's not official, so take your time with it. It goes straight to your head. Okay, now I'm going to be grabbing this e.l.f. brush and I'm going to be setting with this banana. What is it called? Oh, vanilla cream. <laughs> It looks like a banana shade to me. Okay, I'm going to be going in with this Contour is a Girl's Best Friend from Velvet 59 and I'm going to be contouring with this stippling brush from Copper Collection from Morphe. I'm going to be taking this color and this color. More this color though. I always like to go over it with a damp beauty sponge. I forgot to do my forehead, so I'm just going to go in with the leftovers from doing my cheeks. Okay, then for blush, we are going to be mixing, I feel like I've been using this a lot, but the Physician's Formula Natural Glow, and we are going to mix it with MAC Warm Soul. And on the very top, I added just literally a dab of peaches from MAC. I needed like a tiny bit of color. Okay, now I'm going to be going in with Fuego from Dose of Colors Desi Katie Collection. I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to take it on my sponge. I've been really liking doing highlighter on my sponge. So I'm just going to dab it in there on like this rounded side where I do my concealer. I'm going to go ahead and put liner on. Okay, this is just the NYX Liquid Black Liner. Okay, so I did my eyelashes. Guys, so I just got a knock at the door and I got a package. <sighs> Look at the packaging. So, so pretty. So it's obviously the Amory Z highlighter. I don't know if it has a, um, a color, but it's just called highlighter. Ooh. This is pretty. <gasps> Holy freaking crap. Like, I actually have the chills right now because this looks fake. Like, I don't know if I want to use it. It looks so pretty and like the like kind of waves that they put in here is really, really cool. Okay, so I don't want to touch it, but obviously I want to wear it right now, so I'm just going to swatch it. Wait, it feels so fake. Ooh, those little, like, waves feel so cool. Okay, so that is just me running my fingers on it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go in with... 
they all just go in with this brush. This is the Morphe um, highlighting brush from the Copper Collection. And... Okay, I just went in a little bit. No, you're lying. No. Guys, mm -mm. I cannot. Are you kidding me right now? Wow. That? Like, obviously, I had highlighter on before I got this package, but you can see a significant difference. Wow. I thought everyone was being, like, dramatic when they were talking about it, but no. Mm -mm. You can't fake this reaction, guys. This was gorgeous. <laughs> So pretty. Okay, so let's do the lips and then we'll be done. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with the Dose of Colors Katie Desi collab in More Creamer, please. Alright guys, and that is going to complete this look. We're completely done. This was just the icing on top of the cake. This was so so gorgeous i hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and i will see you guys in a few days with a new video bye guys